Hey, hey buddy in YouTube land. We are almost done with this Cobra swap. We're just trying to get a few more parts of the air conditioning and the power steering with the Hydro Boost. Get that going and we should be done pretty soon. But I wanted to do a video real quick. Um, we're getting pretty close to that 2000 mark. So we like to do a giveaway. We were going to do a camshaft, but we uh, started talking about it. And I'm thinking maybe let's just do a gift card. So maybe a gift card for $300 at Summit Racing. Uh, that would help with more people. So we're planning on doing that instead. But yes, please like, subscribe, share these videos. It'll help us out. And once we hit that 2000 mark, I'm going to do a nice little burnout video in my uh, turbocharged Mustang. I want to do a nice smoke show for my 2000 mark. And then... As soon as we uh, hit that 2000 mark, we'll do another video and we'll do a live video and see who we draw on the winner for the $300 gift card for Summit Racing. But yeah, uh, just a little update on here at the shop. We got uh, a couple of new motors over here. We got the, this motor here. This is for this Firebird right here. It's a LQ960 from a... Um, from a uh, Cadillac Escalade. This one right here is for an El Camino that's outside. And this one is for my uh, Mustang. It's a 6.0, all aluminum out of a GTO. So we're gonna freshen that up, put it together, and put that in my car, put some boost to it, and shoot for over a thousand horsepower. 15 might split the block. So we'll try and see what we can do. But yeah, we got that going right there. This car here, I should get the new leaf springs in. They're gonna be a mono leaf spring. So it's a single leaf spring, but they're split. So there's one half and another half and they bolt together. Uh, they're the mono, a split mono spring. So a lot, of, a lot of racers use that. So that's what we're gonna do with that. Get this car done. We got the Holly Terminator coming. I think I got a 6L80 transmission I'm talking to a guy and trying to get that so if I can go get that I'll go get that today this one here it's a little Nissan Titan it's uh got a lot of work uh, we had to cut off a couple bolts for the exhaust manifold and uh, yeah it was a nightmare my guy's been on it for this is the second day now yeah. finally gotten those bolts cutting off swapped out and just bolting back up and then trying to find new bo bolts. But anyways, yeah. So this one here, we had to take off the intake because the owner, he happened to have some 42 pound injectors. I told him those 24s were way too small for this. So we got the new 42 pound injectors. So we had to take the intake manifold off again. Got that swapped out. And now we got this all done up. But this is the Holly Terminator. I uh, was in the middle of doing a video on it. But then the customer is like, hey, I, I need to swap out the injectors. And I told him that we need to do that because they were way too small. But you can see it's got the Holly Terminator for the Fox body. <laughs> All right, also we got this intake, the BBK intake with the fuel rails and everything. Uh, we're trying to sell that. So if you guys are interested in that, let us know. Um, so yeah, let's get the, more videos going uh, yeah these cars over here this one's almost done we're just trying to get valve covers for but that one's we did a PI swap engine in a non PI in car this one here we did the Cobra brake upgrade so you can see it's got Cobra brakes now and you can tell that's covered because it has this bracket and up here in the front you can tell because it's dual piston style but yeah, that one's done. She's gonna come out here and pick it up. We also had to replace one of the rams for the convertible. This one here came in yesterday. Nice little 90, I believe it is, Fox body. We're gonna take a look at this one. It's got a vacuum leak. Um, the windows don't work too well and a couple other things. Uh, we maybe do a manual transmission swap, exhaust, but yeah. Let's see, we got some more videos over here, more cars over here. All right, back here, the 69, we're uh, about to pull the engine out on this. 
and put that big block 496 in that you saw earlier in the video this one here we just got the new clutch for it so we're gonna swap that clutch out so we can get that put back together this uh, 66 here we're restoring that one complete restoration on that one um, we just got all the parts out and started catalyzing all the parts make sure what we have what we don't have what we need there's so many parts that these cars have so it's really hard to get exactly what all we're missing what we need this one here we got the new seal so we should be putting that transmission back together pretty soon uh, well, it's already put back together. I mean, put it back in the car pretty soon. A little Honda. We had to adjust the idle air on that one because it was idling way too low. A lot of people tried to like, oh, let's just uh, change the throttle cable so it's a little bit tighter so it idles a little higher. That's not how you do it. So we got that fixed. It was dying a lot. Still waiting on the adapter for the fuel line on the return line this one we just got the engine i believe yesterday or today today we just got the engine today which is here i'll get you guys can see it over here but yes this is the engine for that 69 right here so we got the engine transmission we'll be putting in the 69 this is going to be a nice little setup but yep the 65 we're still waiting on the new sensor it said it was going to be here two days ago then it said it was going to be here today and then it's supposed to be here today uh i'm sorry yesterday and then now today still nothing so we're waiting for that sensor so i can tune the car and we'll be done it would have been done a long time ago if we got that wide band uh didn't go out on us so as soon as we get the new wide band get this thing tuned it's done this one here we should be putting up in the air pretty soon changing out that gearbox because that new gearbox it tries to steer on us so i gotta get that going the little farm truck that one got uh all done a while back we're just waiting for the customer to come pick it up this toyota the radiator busted on it started leaking everywhere and overheated the car and now it's got a blown head gasket so we gotta do that one uh this one here we just finished with all the stuff on the turbo, the bigger fuel pump. I got flashed to the tune on it so I can run the bigger pump. Now all we have to do is actually go out there and drive and tune it and it should be done. And then this is my green truck right here. So nothing needs to be done on that one. But yeah, I mean, that's what we got so far. I'm trying to get all this taken care of, so. If you guys have any questions or you'd like to enter in that uh, drawing for the $300 gift card for Summit, all you have to do is just like and subscribe, share these videos. That's all you have to do. Once we hit 2,000, we're going to do the drawing. So good luck on that. If you guys have any questions, write in the comments, you know, like, hey, you know, I want to see this or I want to see that. Or what do you guys do when you do this? So let's get that going. Oh, we can see the radiators going in. Getting a little more and more on this thing. It's gonna be done pretty soon. Anyways, you guys have a good day. And uh, I'll talk to you later.